Well, all right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a project here that's just really just cleaning up and <clears throat> restoring this particular instrument. A friend of mine uh, came across this. Somebody was about to throw it out. I guess they were doing cleaning out after the death of a loved one or something, and they said, yeah, we don't want it. Um, they were gonna throw it out, and he said, well, wait, let me have it, and I'll see what I can do. And so he asked me if I could work on it, and uh, of course, that's, I'm not about to let a, an instrument go in the trash. They're just way too wonderful to, for that. So it's a pretty nice little violin. It's, uh, I guess you would call it probably more of a student violin than anything, but not a bad one. Uh, the bow, first of all, it came with no strings. The bow had no hair on it. You can see that. Um, and so, uh, and the tailpiece, that's this part, was, uh, sorry, not that one, but this one here. The tailpiece was broken. And the broken part, it's a little hard to see here, but this has a loop that hooks onto it and then hooks onto this peg down here. So that part's broken, so that's not gonna work. So, um, and you can see, this is, this is what rosin looks like that you use on the bow. For those of you who don't know violins, you, you run the bow over the rosin, like that all the way over, and that rosin helps the bow um, basically make the strings vibrate, so. This is the old rosin. You can see how old and nasty and crusty that is. There's the box for it. And so you can see it's pretty old. And here's just some new rosin, so you can see what it's supposed to look like. So here's the new tail piece I'm gonna put on there, and it comes with this, this uh, um, connector to go around it. I'll show you that. Um, and I've got a new bow back up here, so you can see the new bow. Not very expensive. But I also thought I'd try bow, uh, putting hair on the other bow, so I've ordered this. All these are off Amazon. I've already worked on the case to clean it up. This ribbon part here was had fallen off. These were nearly impossible to move, so I've gone ahead and put just a little bit of silicone spray on those to help them move. That's what holds the bow underneath it. I'll show you later after I get it done. And I've kind of just cleaned it up, and I've put some silicone spray on all the different parts. I need to fix this handle. That's easy enough. I'll just wrap it probably, leave it in case, intact. So, um, so far so good. Just helping the instrument be, be a, a little bit more user friendly. But uh, I'll show you how it goes and I'll get some strings on it. And we'll tune it up and see how it plays. Alrighty. Just FYI, this is how the tailpiece works. Is there's a, a loop of very strong material that loops over this little nub at the end of the of the violin. So it loops over this and then holds the tailpiece so that they can hold on to the strings. And the way you put this together, you can get this, is you use, it comes as also assembled, but you, gotta get in here. Where am I? Oh, there we go. So. You put this little screw on there. I've already put one of them on. You put this little screw on there. And so there's a screw on either side. And that holds the loop in place. But you can also adjust the loop by just tightening or loosening these screws. So I'll, I'll get that all done. And the idea is that you want the tailpiece to be in an approximate location on the violin. You know, about here. So you, you just adjust the tailpiece by the length of the little wire thing down here by tightening and loosening those screws and that'll help you to get the tailpiece just about where it's supposed to be because there's going to be a bridge here and you want, don't want the tailpiece too close to the bridge but you also don't want to necessarily have it hanging over the edge so it's just a matter of allowing some adjustments so I'll show you how that looks when we get it all done. Alright, just a little elbow grease and some uh, Windex and I use a kind of a a very light um, scotch bright kind of a uh, scrubber to get a lot of dirt off and get that off of there and then I use some of the, the old Johnson paste wax to put on there and on the case kind of brings out gives it a little more shine again and protects it so next is I'm going to go ahead and do the bow this is 
This is what the bow looks like with hair. And this is what the bow looks like taken apart. So there's the, the slide, which goes into that slot there. And this screw goes into this bit here. Let's see where that screw is. And that screw pulls this tight and that pulls the bow hair tight. So what I'm gonna do is clean this up and get the hair to go in here and in there. We'll see if I can do it. I haven't rehaired a bow for a while. The hair is not that expensive. And interestingly enough, this is, you can see, see it there, Mongolian horse hair. Sounds very fancy, doesn't it? And it comes with little plugs so that you can put it back together. Anyhow, I'll show you what I've done. Alrighty. All right, so here it is all polished up and strings on it and everything. Um, I've got this bow. It was a trick that I saw online. Because it's a brand new bow, there's not much rosin on the hair, so they suggested grinding up the rosin or making it into a powder, so that's the rosin that I powdered up. And then I just sort of sprinkled it on there and rubbed it on with my finger. and that, I think they called it pre loading or pre-priming the, the bow with rosin so it doesn't, doesn't take quite so long to get it up to speed. But anyhow, sounds really good. Um, so a new tail piece. And this is the bit I was showing you on the back. So there's, oops, I can focus. There's the little wire that I was showing you that goes around this peg. So that goes up and there's the little tuners. And that's about it. I'm sure you can find lots of other YouTube videos on how to put strings on and all that, but uh, this was just a kind of fun little repair. The case turned out just fine. It shined up nicely. I've redone the handle. It's not very pretty, but I've put some tape on it to get it so that at least it you can hold on to it. But yeah, that shined up nicely. So that ought to be a nice instrument for somebody.